Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Playtime, and today is a game written in Q Basic. And you've all read the title. No blood, there's options for no blood, that's intriguing. This game potentially has blood or no blood. This is Sonic the Hedgehog written in Q Basic by Eric Carr, uh, 1998. Um, I think he started it way back in about 96, and came out in 98, February the 26th. It's quite a simple game. Very simple. We've got uh, left and right uh, using the control and alt keys and shift to jump. But, you know, there's a massive Sonic mod scene now. Uh, SonicRetro.org.com I'll put the link below where this game came from. There's, there's loads of it. Loads of Sonic clones and uh, Mega Drive mods. But this was one of the first original ones because... This is Sonic, as it's unmistakably so. I mean, he's a bit small, but, you know, we've got Sonic rings, and we've got a little blue character, and he can jump, and he spins where he jumps. It's unmistakably Sonic, and it's written in QBasic. And QBasic is such an awesome language. From my perspective, I spent so long using it in my youth. You know, it, it came with those games... Uh, gorillas and Nibbles, which you could play on in schools if you had QBasic in school. And I made loads of little games and programs using QBasic. It was kind of like an evolutionary step from the... Ooh, I can smash through things. From the Commodore 64, Basic. And this was written in QBasic. It's bloody marvellous. It was really quite a good um, program. I should say Quick Basic rather than QBasic, because QBasic was the free version that shipped with... DOS and Quick Basic allowed you to compile executables. Now this game was released on Shareware, it's got a few different levels. The goal is to get to the doors on each level. So to start with you pick a door, which one you want. You go through the door and you get booted to DOS. Alrighty, let's go back in. Maybe I won't pick that door next time. Let's pick a different door. Presents laptop. Yeah, interesting. That font is almost unmistakably Q Basic. That is like the Q Basic graphical font that you end up with, unless you change it. Okay, I've gone through the first door. Maybe as it's shareware, you don't get the latter doors yet. You just get booted. All right, so here we go. You can have to. You have to no shit. <laughs> That's rather violent. <laughs> Sonic's had blood spurting out of his head. There must be a proper Sonic Gore mod. Oh, I'm going to have to have a look at that. But for now, this will suffice. He can jump quite high, can't he? Obviously, this guy wanted to see Sonic suffer. And who doesn't? I mean, we all love Sonic, but... It'd be nice to see some blood spurting from his skull. He's quite a slippery Sonic. He's more like Mario in that fashion. He slips about quite a lot. Uh, but... You know, as a Q Basic game, well, holy sh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Sonic. Oh, he's been resurrected. Can I. No, no, he is burnt to an absolute cinder. It's got like a little halo above his head. Poor Sonic, right. This is quite a tricky game. This isn't the Mega Drive game we know and love, nor is it the Master System game we know and love. It's Spinball. Now, it's called Spinball to obviously avoid uh, copyright and the like. Um, I'm just trying to read the readme file whilst I play it. Let's go to a different level. Let's go to level number two. There we go. Let me just scoot over to a readme file a second. Enter a warp code and hope for the best. Uh, Sonic. Uh... Who are you trying to pull? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I won't do it again. Up we go. Up we go. So, yeah, it says bad guys. There are only a couple in this game. The most common are walking spikes, which can't be killed. Avoid them at all costs. Coins are a good thing. So they're not called rings. Probably, again, due to copyright issues. Uh, the more coins you have, the less chance you have of dying. So it follows the standard Sonic formula in that case. If you collect 100 coins, you get an extra life. Okay, so let me work out where I need to go from here. 
up here. He's so slippery. He needs to. Someone's greased his trainers. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. I'm assuming this is. Oh, you... oh, my word! What a tricky little rascal that is. You can't even see these things coming. Let's see if I can get it through here. Nope. All right, let's go. Up, 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 up. So that's interesting. You can bat you can bash through some landscape parts, but not others. All right. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Let's go down this hole. This seems to be a good one. Let's step to the side. Oh, I'm through a door. Let's see where this door leads. It leads to level two, I'm presuming. I wonder if he sold any of these games. I wonder if he actually even made a complete one. Interesting to find out. This is the only one that seems to be about. The only copy. I mean, I haven't done a thorough and extensive search, but I'm, go oh, I'm just going to jump for it. Let's go for it. Go in for go in for go. Oh, yeah, I am storming it with this jumping technique. All right. No, Sonic, you know. No. no. I jump. That's it, man. Oh, shit. Give me some rings. All right. Can I bash through there? Okay, um, yep, yeah. maybe I need to go down one of these holes. It's a bit of a potluck really, isn't it? No, it's definitely not that hole. That is Lava Central. Maybe I can go up here. Can I jump that far? Oh, god damn it, Sonic. God damn it, I had faith in you. You shat all over my face, didn't you? That is like at the limits of his jumping ability. All right, let's see if I can. <laughs> no, I've tried that already. Get your coin. I can't go. There's no down button, so I can't really smash shit through there. I don't really know what to do, Sonic. If you could help me out, maybe there's some... Oh, God. Damn it! Pesky little hedgehog. Of course, this isn't related to Sonic Spinball, which goes by the same name. The Mega Drive pinball variation of Sonic. An all-round good game. Yes. Yeah, back when Sega were intent on delivering, they had like a golden period of Sonic gloriness, didn't they? With some awesome Sonic games, Sonic spin offs, <laughs> if you excuse the horrific pun. No oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. So much blood. So much unspeakable gore. He, he gets swept away in the lava as well, like a tide. Sweeps him away. This is like a. No, a nightmare version of Sonic, both from a playing perspective and a gore perspective. Actually, play-wise, it's not too bad, but I don't think I'm getting past this bit unless I really concentrate and try and come up with a strategy. But that's not going to happen tonight, so I will probably end the game. But you know, it's it's an interesting thing, isn't it? It's a piece of fan-made software quirkiness from the 90s, and who doesn't love quirky software from the goddamn 90s? Thanks for watching, see you soon. I thought I'd just show you these other executables you get with this program it's just it's interesting here's a readme file which has got its own like little editor with multicolor display which is nice it's like a readme program again by eric if you exit it kind of doesn't clear the screen we've also got catch which is some sort of demonstration I, you can't seem to do anything 
but it involves that block moving down to the bottom right hand corner and we also have demo which is an interesting texture mapping demo with a road with grass on both sides and you can move left and right and you slow down if you move too far onto the grass on either side with s slight light diminishing apparently try saying that when you've got a face full of pickles guys is lots of lemming like characters moving about in an ambling shopping mall fashion we also have um, no, that is it. That is it. Um, I'm going to try and run Sonic with Bloodless Play just to see the difference there. Okay, we've got no blood. Oh, I'm presuming the evil just die without blood. But you never know. Sometimes there's some slight difference. Let's have a let's have a look. Right, Sonic, I am simply going to kill you. That is it. Yep, no blood. Excellent. There we go. That solves that mystery. And also, he says that he has included a source directory yep yeah. so let's have a look in there and in there the dat level files so these are text files that can be used to directly edit the levels I mean they're just let's have a look if we let me just set the path a second see um, if we have a look at level one dot dat, yeah, it is just a text file, and that is the level how you see it. Now, I used to make programs which used a similar strategy as this. It's you know, it's an easy way to create a level and allows you to edit it easily. All these different um, ASCII characters stand for different things in the game. Different, um, what was a secret bit down there? Yeah, different blocks. And you can create a level, which is absolutely splendid. If we have a look at level two, then we get a completely different set. Uh, I wonder if um, I wonder if these are built into the game or whether they, they're read directly from here. And we've also got the basic, the raw basic for it here. So. If I was to look through this, then I could probably find all the level codes and everything else. Oh, look at lovely basic. Lovely, lovely basic everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does uncode do? Uh, uncodes a file. Uh, and we've also got code it, which I imagine codes a file. So if I was to rename level one dot dat to level b dot dat, and rename level two dot dat to level one dot dat, I wonder if that would swap the level one to level two. Might not be, it might be completely compiled within some other file. But we can see through simple investigation. Nah, still a first level. But anyway, I could play around with this for quite a while. I'm not going to. Just thought I'd show you those bits. See you soon.